guys, it's Eileen. Stay tuned for my entire season of My Dream Quinceanera. There might be a deleted scene. <laughs> Guess what I have for you guys? Oh my god, what? Oh, my quinceanera pictures. Oh, wow. We're gonna go way back now. It's been 24 years. Vamos a ver. I don't think Eileen has seen these pictures. No, I haven't. I'm Eileen. I'm 14 years old, and I'm about to have my quinceanera. This is your invitation. Yeah, look at the year, Eileen. 1993. That was when you were born, and that was when your quinceanera was. Looks like someone died. Exactly. Don't judge me. I've been dreaming about a quinceanera since I was 10 years old. My mom says ever since I was born, she wanted to have a quinceanera for me. So I'm excited to have my quinceanera. I'm excited to see my friends and family there. I have a pretty big family, and I'm looking forward to seeing everybody together. Oh, wow. I'm gonna have a headpiece too, mom, so we're gonna be the same. Yeah. Look at my headpiece. Oh my god, I think you're wearing a headpiece. That's, That's what I was like, said. Give me a Sister, I, really? I, I need to call her sisters. So I can look like her. <laughs> she always calls me sister. But look at my hairstyle. Were those your natural curls? Yes, they were my natural curls. <laughs> Pretty much everybody in my family had a quinceanera. I know my mom had one, my grandma had one, all my aunts had one, and now it's my turn to have one. It's inspired me a lot, actually. Everything I've seen from their quinceaneras, I'm putting some of it into my quinceanera. Just looking at the expression on her face, she looks super happy, and that's exactly how I'd want my quince to be. Oh, you were wearing red lipstick? Oh, yes, I actually, now that I think about it, well, I was your mom's favorite color. <laughs> well, what can I tell you about Eileen? She's beautiful. She has a, an amazing personality and very smart. I love my daughter. I seriously am reliving my quinceanera again. And the whole planning, she kind of leaves it up to me. So I like that she's not really picky. Or maybe she just goes along with what I tell her. I don't know. <laughs> it's just a tradition in the family because it's like a coming of age in the Latino community and, you know, just bringing everyone together and bringing the whole family together. And on top of that, Eileen deserves it. She's a straight A student. She's a good girl. And in, in a heartbeat, I would do it again if she if she asked me to. Maybe when she turns 18 or 21. <laughs> I don't know. Was that the only type of makeup? I actually did my own makeup. <laughs> really? I put red lipstick. Curl my lashes and put a lot of mascara. For the first time, your grandfather let me wear mascara. So that wow. was cool. That's why I want you to wear red lipstick or a dark lip. <laughs> just because it's gonna look cute. Eileen, you have to. Can I just get you lots of lashes and then do like the red lip or do something dark? Oh no, girl. Everything's going good so far. The only problem is my makeup look. I am a makeup artist, so I always try to get Eileen into wearing makeup. Me and my mom have been going back and forth, and she wants to go more dramatic, but I want it to go more natural. I think she's one of my most difficult clients. It's funny because she loves wearing makeup, and when it comes to me, she'll be like, you want to wear makeup? And I'll be like, no, I'm good. When I was 15, wearing that red lipstick for the first time was a big deal for me. My dad really didn't let me wear it. And I don't understand why Eileen doesn't want to wear makeup. I won't go to school with the full face makeup. And so we're just going back and forth with that, but this is my quinceanera day, and I'm gonna make the final decision, and I know what I want. Oh my go. God, nobody did your eyebrows? Eileen! <laughs> Eileen, but my makeup was popping. See how pretty that red lipstick looks, Eileen? Yes. Can <laughs> we do pink lipstick, no. Eileen? No. Change the picture, she's gonna keep on that makeup <laughs> thing. In my dress. Wow. So you guys both had white dresses? Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah, because you know what? When we were 15, I don't think nobody wore colored dresses. It was real traditional. Yes. You want to see my mom's quinceanera? Oh, oh wow. my god. Are you serious? Yes. See, you could have followed her. That's, That's her white Lily. dress. That's her quinceanera. Oh, my god. You so all three of you guys had white dresses. I'm gonna wear more of a champagne dress. So it's close to white because I want it to look like me too. And not like I was getting married or anything, you know? Dijo que that the dress she wore was actually a wedding dress. That she saw it on display. And that she kept telling her mom, I want that dress. And that's why she wants everybody to wear white dresses. It, yeah. The day of her quinceanera, she says the dress actually fit her big, but she didn't care because she was happy. And that was the most important thing, is just her going to church, wearing her white dress, and having her party. Oh my god, that is so cute. Oh, I have to show you. And see, this is her quinceanera picture. Oh 
See, look, I look a little bit better than your mom has. No, and that's me right there, look at that. Oh my God, and you had to be extra and wear a blue dress. Extra and wear the blue dress. Oh, because that was my color that I wanted. Okay. Oh yeah, because she didn't have damas. Oh. You're not having damas in, in Chambelanes. I know. I'm having a surprise dance, but it's not gonna be a traditional surprise dance with all my friends. It's gonna be with my uncle and my dad. Oh, we have to tell her about this sister. We shared the same chambelan. You guys shared, shared the, the same chambelan. And my mom swore that one of us was gonna get married to her. We didn't. Yeah, thank you. I don't wanna have any damas or chambelanes because I thought it'd be more sincere if I had my dad and my uncle with me. Friends come and go. So I can have the people that I love the most in my party with me instead of having like people who I probably won't even know in 20 years. This is getting me really excited for my quinceanera. Yeah, mom? I feel like it's bringing back memories. There's a lot of pictures that I want to recreate of me, dad, and you. That's so cute. I think one of the main things that I like to look back on is that father-daughter dance. And that's one thing that I'm making sure that we do incorporate into her party is that special moment with her and her dad. But look at how Papa Mondo looked. Aww. And he was actually, he was almost my age right now, I think. How long ago did you pass away after you came I was 28 when he passed away. Wow. You know, there's a special moment in my Kinsa video where my dad talks about the future, that he's gonna be with us for a long time, and um, you know, he didn't make it. Eileen, I have, I have something I wanna give you, okay? Okay, here. Ooh! Okay. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you like it? This is so, so cute. So my mom just gave me a surprise, and it's a picture of me and my dad. It made me like, I don't know, like, cause like her dad is not here with us today. It's cause they've been on the of my apa, like to me how important it is to have, you know, everybody together and not have my dad with us anymore. And I know that this is one of your favorite pictures from your photo shoot of your dad, so that's for you. I'm really grateful that my dad's here with me too. Ever since that we started planning this, he's been working hard, like extra hours to make this happen. And like, I'm beyond grateful for him. It makes me happy. He's going out of his way to do all these extra things because of me. Yes. I know, Mom. Oh my God, I cannot wait to hear you. I'm gonna take that picture and put it on my wall, and just every day I can look at it and you know remember my Thank you so much. I love you, Mom. I love you too. Me and my mom are really close. In seventh grade, I didn't really have my relationship with my mom. I wasn't doing good in school. I didn't want to listen to anybody. And then she said, either I'm going to be your best friend or your worst enemy. And like, we can take it from there. Ever since me and her have always been close, I go to her for everything. I tell her everything. And I know that she'll always be there for me. Eileen has realized, I think as she gets older, how lucky she is to have such a close, tight family and how Without asking them, all her aunts and her uncles came and, and they all gave her money towards her party. She just decided, you know what, this party's for me and my family. I think that's where she gets very emotional. My family's important to me because I lost a lot of friends, but I know that I have my family there for me. I know that I can count on them anytime. Especially the ones I'm closest to. I know that if I have my family, then I don't need anything else. All these pictures, we can all one day look at it and relive it 20 years from now. This is gonna be something that we're all gonna remember. Are you guys ready? Yeah! I'm ready for the big reveal. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, Bridget's already crying. I'm not crying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not crying. Oh, you haven't right? seen her, right? No, I haven't seen her. Yeah. Have you seen her? Mom, you're taking I my shot. I have not seen her, but I'm waiting. You have, oh my god, you guys no. are going to cry. Mm -hmm. I already know it. I need you to come out now. Yeah, I just the mirror going. Eileen, <laughs> <laughs> come on here, babe. <laughs> So Walking out in my dress for the first time, I feel very confident and I feel better knowing that 
they they really like it. Seeing my daughter wear the dress made me feel so emotional. I was so excited for her big day. It brought back memories when I had my quinceanera and I wore my dress for the first time. And it was always just my mom and my sister, my older sister, that the dress review was with them. I told you, I was just putting there because <laughs> Oh, did you? I need some answers. Like Seeing my family's reaction, especially my tia's reaction, it's like very emotional for me. I won't stop crying that day. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your quinceanera, but that I was know. 25 years ago. I'm not crying. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my sister, she's funny. Why you make your niña yeah. cry like that? On the <laughs> <laughs> I know that my daughter is very special for her, and you know, it's kind of like we share her. And I'm glad that my sister's part of that because I'm very close to my sister. Do you feel comfortable? Yeah, I really beautiful. like this part. This. It's like really flowy. Yeah. It's perfect for your puffiness. Yeah. I really like the, the poofiness and then I also like the, the detail on the dress, all the beads and like all the diamonds. I feel very confident with this dress. It fits me very well and that's why I really like it. Amanda, you like the dress? It's really nice. She looks beautiful in it. She likes her oh, dress better. Her dress. <laughs> I don't think the red lipstick's gonna match no. now that I sit. Now that I look Ni tampoco at it, uno, I uno como so. burgundy, no. Just go something kind of like me. I seen her dress, she looks beautiful, but it still doesn't change my mind. I still want her to wear the dark lip like I did. Seeing myself in the dress still hasn't changed my opinion. I still want my makeup to be very simple because if the dress is simple itself. Your mom is a little too dramatic. <laughs> no. <laughs> when it comes to makeup, extravagant, but. So no red. My mom still disagrees about the makeup, but you know, it's all gonna come down to my decision. I think I'm gonna keep it that way. Take all the red lipsticks out. Throw them away. <laughs> she doesn't even need makeup. You're a natural beauty. <laughs> Thank you. Today we're here at Beautify You. Oh, we're gonna figure out my final makeup looks and my kids I like the store because I'm a frequent client here. It's like my go-to store. Just to be here for my daughter it makes me feel good. I'm not really into makeup, but my mom is, and so this is going to be a great bonding experience for the both of us. Hi, Alex. How's it going? Hi. 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 Hi.
So we'll see how this one looks. If not, we can still go for the We'll try the red one. And this is from your... From our line, Beautify You. So it has a little bit of a shine. It's not too matte. I feel like it's a little too soft. Yeah, it is. Let me look at it first and then I'll see which one I like. Oh, I don't know. I just feel like you need to have more color just so you can... I'm more concerned about pictures, I think. I just want those pictures to really stand out and just look really... Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, I really like this one. But I feel like it'll wash you out, maybe, for the pictures. Can you try the red one, please? Please? Okay, fine. Can I fly it on her, though? Yes. Yeah, go for it. Okay, let me try it. <clears throat> Alex, did I tell you that I want to do Eileen's makeup for her quinceanera? Oh, you are. Yes. That's nice. Mom and daughter time, you know. I was thinking that she's actually my hardest client. Oh, she's picky. <laughs> Perfectionist <laughs> like her mama. Yes. <laughs> if I don't like something, I will, I'll tell her. And that's just the type of relationship we have. All right, baby. Okay, mom. I don't know. I'm getting emotional just thinking that I'm going to do this on your day. That's nice. I'm excited, baby. I'm excited. As she gets older, I feel we get closer. I feel like now I'm her best friend, but I'm very glad and I feel blessed that she's able to talk to me and say, hey mom, this is what's going on. She put the red lipstick on me, and I think it was a special moment for her because I saw her eyes getting watery and stuff, and she wore red lipstick for her quinceanera, so I think she got a little emotional while putting it on me. I like this one. Yeah. I could feel it on my lips. <laughs> I felt really heavy on my lips. The other gloss was fine, but then when I put that one on, it just felt very heavy and dark. Please keep an open mind that you don't have your um, eyelashes on, you don't have anything on, you don't have your dress on, you don't have your hair all done up. Just clean this out right here and we're almost done, ready for the big reveal. I'll have an open mind about it, please, Eileen. Can I look at you? Wait, wait, hold on. All right, go ahead. Oh my god. I love too much. This is, are you serious? When I first saw it, I was a little blown away because I didn't think it was gonna be that dramatic. It made me look older, and that's not what I was going for. And I'm only turning 15, so I don't think I wanna look that old. Uh oh, oh. She's not nope. used to it. It's so way like too it. dramatic. I... Hey, let me just take a picture, I can send it to your Thea and see what they say. Pose, cute. I like that, Eileen. Hey, it looks really cool. Watch, look. <laughs> She's I like, do no. not. Well, I liked the first one better because it was more light. But this one just pops and it like overpowers my whole face. Like everybody's gonna be focused on my lips only. <laughs> I don't know about this one. Though. All right, babe. I don't know about this one. Well, can I wear the red Why lipstick? Why don't you get it for yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I want that one. Then I want the red lipstick. Then I'll wear the red lipstick because I really want to be popping. Is that the word? Popping yeah, that day. Pop <laughs> We do have our disagreements, and we did not agree in some of the looks today. But like in everything, we always come together and we always come to one agreement. Okay, so I messaged your tias, and they all said no. <laughs> I didn't like the bright color of the red The red one, one. they said no, so they said you better not. Go there, <laughs> especially your tia Bertha. She said no. True. Don't even go there. We'll see what that says. So hopefully, we're sliding me right now. This has definitely been a bonding experience with my mom, especially since you know me and her are the main ones working on this together. All all of my opinions that I get from her really fit in with mine. So this is helping us, you know, grow together. I'm always gonna be there for her and you know support her, just like she supports my hobbies or my work, you know. So it made me feel good to see that we came to an agreement and that we both decided on the lashes and the lip gloss and the highlighter. Something tiny. <laughs> oh, like you! <laughs> oh, I actually that. like these. I actually look really pretty. I like that at the end of the day we came together, and I'm excited to see what she's gonna look like the day of her quinceanera. Quince is a couple days away. This is like the last thing off my checklist, and now it's go time. Today we're here at the venue. It's the night before my king set and we're doing our last dance practice. The practice is going to be kind of different because now we know how much space we're going to have and you know the timing and all that. Seeing my family working together, it makes me feel very grateful that they're all here for me, especially the day before quinceanera and it's pouring outside and they're just all here and put the effort to be here. What do you think about the DJ being over here on this side? 
I like that. It's pretty late right now, but I'm still waiting for when my choreographer showed up. Hopefully he'll show up because it's the night before my quinceanera and we're actually in the venue. Since we had made some adjustments in the dance, we need him to be here to guide us through the whole through the whole dance today. I want this to be more of a dance space because our I dance- want these moved out of the way? Yeah, because our dance has, we had to take steps back and forward. Why not? I think it's the weather. I don't know what's going on. The goal for tonight's practice is to, you know, get the timing right, the steps, if I'm gonna be running into stuff because my dress is so big and all that. Hold on, guys. Hold on, we'll be able to go over there. Hold on. Brother, yeah. I've been texting Roger, y no me contesta. He's not answering me. I don't know what's going on. I texted him earlier, no reply. Today is the final dance practice, so we were waiting on the choreographer and he no showed us. I don't know what's, if it's the weather or anything, so. Is he gonna show up? But, I mean, I he's, running he's late. in charge of the choreography, so. I know. I don't know. I'm a little nervous because I don't know if we're gonna be able to get through all the steps very smoothly. Well, how are we gonna do it? Who's gonna choreo? Guess who? Uh -oh. I can do it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh what are you? Why? <laughs> I got this, Mimi. No, I think we got it. No, 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 yeah. no. Well, I can, we'll turn on the music. I'll help you count the steps because I've been in every practice, so I know what I'm doing. Breathe. No? Breathe. Eileen. So my mom just suggested that she could be the choreographer and I'm a little nervous. I don't know if she's gonna be able to do it. Believe in me. I don't know about that. Lily, how are you? Oh, she's got a sidekick too. It's gonna be okay because we've been to all her practices. Of course. We know the steps. Like I can close my eyes and do the like the steps in my head. She's gonna be your backup choreographer yeah. now or what? <laughs> <laughs> we got this, we're gonna do it, right? The biggest struggle for my quinceanera is probably while we're all dancing, having my the rest of my family around me, it's pretty distracting. Funko oh. doesn't know the steps, I got it. I'm a little apprehensive because my mom can be very jokingly sometimes, and I don't know if she could take a quinceanera practice serious. Well, if Roger's not gonna be here, no, what do you wanna do? It's the last day before our quinceanera, so I think I'll give you guys a chance. Yes. <laughs> I just went for it because, you know, it's the last day, and you know, they've been there every single practice. I think she was okay, you know? I think we right? did it again. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> we'll let you guys do the waltz. We're gonna count the steps, <coughs> and then we're gonna, we're gonna do the rest of the steps together, okay? okay? We're, okay, so first of all, where is everybody gonna be watching you guys, that way? Yeah, it's gonna be okay, so you guys are gonna start here, right? <laughs> Why not be serious? I'm the choreographer right now. The practice at first was a little rough. We needed Roger, my choreographer, to help us, you know, space everything out. You have to face that way. Yeah. Okay, so, facing that way then. Yeah. Eileen has right. to be on this side, right? You yeah, have to be on that the, side. You're in the middle, I'm on that side. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you guys are already be making right. it difficult. I, you stand over there, and where's he going? It was a little frustrating that he wasn't here. Scoot that way a little bit, like two, so like, no, there, right there, right there. Ready? La señorita Aileen Lourdes Padilla y el papá, el señor Juan Enrique Padilla. For the walls, and it's my dad and my uncle. We'll transition. I'll start with my dad and then I'll go to my uncle. Very nice. Smile, don't forget to smile, Panko. I don't have a core for my quinceanera. I'm gonna be dancing with my uncle and my dad, so I'm pretty excited that it's just them too. It, it was an honor for us to do something like that. So. Having dad and Funko dance with her, it's gonna be so memorable. It's gonna mean something to her in 10 to 15 years. Ah, ago. there you go. Yeah. Make that turn happen. She loves those two men. She's a firstborn niece, so he's been spoiling her from day one. Having her in the spotlight tomorrow, I mean, it's just, it's starting to become Real, you know, we're starting to set in now, so. To see Eileen choose Dad and Funko and, and choose to keep that memory and hold on to, just like when we, well, when I did with my dad, you know? Mm -hmm. Eileen, Lily didn't have the opportunity to dance with my dad, so. Mm -hmm. I think that's why it's kind of special to have him. Right? <laughs> And it's also more special for me because, you know, my dad and my uncle, they come out here like every week, try their hardest, and I appreciate it a lot. This one, your tia and I are gonna help you. Okay. Just in case Remember? you don't, you have to give attitude. But like, mm. Mm. okay. <laughs> she does have a solo dance right after she dances the waltz with uncle and her dad. 
And so that's why we kind of make sure we walk in with her. So I just, just she gets cold feet, we're there, you know? <laughs> Throw that hip. I think because of the dress being so big, she needs to really pop those hips and make the dress swing. Oh, yeah. And I, she's been practicing several times, but for that moment, she needs to make sure she's enjoying it, smiling, popping those hips, and making that dress move. Baby. So like as my mom and my tia are doing the steps with me, I find it funny because they try like so hard to be in the dance with me, and even though they can't, they still feel like they're a part of it. Yes, I, I got it right. Do I look off? No. We've been watching all the steps, and it's actually really fun. It her makes me feel so useful. Her soul is like, her youthful. Like, <laughs> even though I'm kind of off a little bit, but it's okay though. I know it. I know all the steps. Ooh, I like that one. I feel like I'm swimming on that one. They're just taking this opportunity to have a good time. We're all taking it as an opportunity to bond, and it's pretty exciting. Just having them there is like a little extra boost, but I can I can do it. Like they know they know I can do it. They just do it for the fun of it. I think we can do it together. <laughs> she came a really long way from her first practice, but today she surprised me. I know. Right? I think it was because of that. I think so. Right? She wanted to wear a quinceanera dress, but it will be right like. Maybe a distance. A distance, and she can watch me, like, in case she forgets. Mm -hmm. Overall, I think you guys did really good. <laughs> Alex, you just need to, you know, because I think Ricky goes in kind of hard. <laughs> I'm going to pretend I didn't even hear that part. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Oh, you should just... Oh, you guys. <laughs> but when okay. you go home, guys, just sleep on it. Like, count the steps. <laughs> okay. Count the steps. I thought you guys were going to be a little extra. Well, you guys are a little extra. Just but, like extra. But you guys did it good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, Eileen. So my games is tomorrow, and I'm excited. I know it's gonna run smoothly. I'm confident about you know the decorations, how we're dancing, all my friends that are gonna show up, all my family members that'll show up. I'm just excited to see everything put together. Hashtag I need your 15. Woo! <laughs>
Okay, close your eyes. I'm excited to see her all complete with the hair and the makeup. I'm trying not to get too emotional, but I'm hoping that I can hold my tears. I don't want to mess up my makeup. I think that's the, I think that's the thing. I, just, I always tell my clients, don't cry ugly, cry pretty, because they're going to be taking pictures of you, and just remember your makeup is amazing. So I'm putting that in my mind. How do you cry pretty? <laughs> So we have about uh, two hours to get Eileen ready and I hope that we finish on time because the church is a little bit far so I want to make sure that we make it on time and that I get to lace up her dress and get her ready because I think that's the most hardest part for me. Like the makeup and hair, easy. I'm more concerned about the dress and making sure I have everything that makes it look nice and big and beautiful. Um, Eileen, I want to tell you something. Yes. The photographer got in a car accident last night. No. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm being serious. He just texted me right now. What's gonna happen? I don't know. He yeah. said he's gonna send someone. Are you serious? I'm being serious. Is he okay? I don't know. I don't know. What? I don't know, babe. <sighs> wow. You know, it's good to have all of us together. Like as a family, knowing that we got this. We got this. Mm -hmm. I'm the first granddaughter of my generation having a quince and I feel like it's very special for her because she went through like four quinces with all her daughters and like now she's seeing me. I feel like she was trying to say something but she couldn't because she was so emotional. It was very special. Thank you, Mama. We did it, Mom. We did it. Remember? Remember? <laughs> you guys are going to mess up all our makeup. It's because I always ask my mom, please help me because you raised four girls. You have to help me with her. And you know what? I did it, Mom. I'm raising a good girl. <laughs> Yo más vine a hacer las chillas. ¿Sí? ¿No? ¿Ya no? no. I'm just getting my hair done. My mom already started my makeup. My mom has been asking me, like, very neutral right now. I was like, yes. So she's not putting any dark colors. I hope she's not, right? No. Okay. <laughs> Guys, it's 9.45. Uh, we have to be done no later than 11 and then get going, okay? So hurry up. Well, my mom just finished my makeup right now and I really like how my eyes look because they like pop. I feel like I look like a doll and I like it. And now I got my tia doing my highlight and contour and that's probably like the most important part. Yeah, I'm so excited when I'm bigger. Yeah, are you having your own kids well, the time is like slowly running out and like everybody's just running around trying to get done with their makeup so they can start putting their dresses on and we can leave. I'm pretty busy right now. I'm glad I got myself ready earlier. In the back of my mind, I have the photographer and I'm thinking about who's gonna come. Did he tell you? I, you know what, I'm not even answering anymore. I just told them, you know, be here at 10, whoever's gonna be here, be here. Ready, do you wanna see them now? Okay, ready? Look. They're all sleek. Ooh. You like it, baby? I had a very special slideshow for Eileen, and um, due to the photographer's accident, he just told me that he won't be able to give me the USB for the slideshow, and I have to tell you something. What? The photographer just texted me, and you won't be able to get your slideshow for today. Really? Well, I didn't really know that we had a slideshow. Is this supposed to be a surprise? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Time to get upset, because I... I... It's all right, Mom. Because I did something special for you that's special. I wanted to show you that video. It was important for me. But remember what we said? If something doesn't go right today, just let sure. it go. We just gotta keep playing. Okay. Don't cry. Me and my mom are really close. Ever since I started planning my quinceanera, it brought us closer together because she's always been there for me and I know that she'll always be there for me. As long as we can get on another day, we'll just bring everybody together again. We can invite our friends, but we can just watch it all together again. Okay. Don't worry about it. Thank you, babe. Okay. Thank I you, love you. I love you too. Thank you. I don't want to mess up my makeup now.
We have about a half hour left before we go to the church. I'm feeling kind of rushed. We just gotta get my hair done and then the dress takes time to put on. So uh, we're gonna see how that goes. We've had some disagreements for how the look I'm gonna get, but my mom did pretty good. I actually really like it. We didn't practice it up to, so I'm trying to see what I could come up with. I feel like I'm running against time now, so hopefully she likes it. Ready? After my hair is done, I need to put my dress on and then it's go time. You look so cute. Ma, you're going to help me get her ready? Yeah. Maybe my most difficult client. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you the back part of it, okay? Okay, you ready? Mm. You like it? Yeah. So cute. Why are you so cute? Oh, the lipstick, lipstick, lipstick. Ama, so yo le quería poner lipstick rojo, pero le voy a poner este rosita más. Se le ve más bonito. You were wearing red lipstick? Oh, that was your mom's favorite color. That's why I want you to wear red lipstick. Oh, no, girl. So far, the only problem is my makeup look. Have an open mind about it, please, Eileen. Oh. Why don't you get it for yourself? This is my quinceanera day, and I'm going to make the final decision. I like this one. They started with pink mink. Mm -hmm. Mira bonito. A ti te quedaba el rojo, a ella le queda el... I'm excited to see her all complete. I'm trying not to get too emotional, but I'm hoping that I can hold my tears. Walking down the stairs, I'm a little nervous for my family to see how I look in my dress. I see it. I see it. There she comes. There goes my baby. Watching her come down the stairs was such an emotional moment for me. All I can think of is just the day she was born and the day I held her for the first time and how she's just blossomed into this beautiful girl. It brought back memories when I had my quinceanera and I wore my dress for the first time. And I feel like I'm gonna be 15 too. I wanted her to grow up so fast and I'm not sad about it, I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm still happy that, you know, she's turning into this beautiful young lady, you know? Wow. Everybody seemed to like it. Having my family like cheer me on, it made me feel like confident, like I knew that I looked beautiful. Like this is my big day today. <laughs> this is Thursday. Let's do this, ready? Yeah, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, family. Let's go, let's go. 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 Let's go, let's go
But I'm like this close and like, ah! Oh, wow. The clouds don't own the sky. Oh, just having that rainbow, it just, it was even more perfect. I think it was my dad showing up and kind of saying, Hello, you know, that he was around because I know one person that we're missing today is him. Oh, this is the picture. Pretty much everybody in my family had a quinceanera. I know my mom had one, my grandma had one, and now it's my turn to have one. And it's pretty cool because I'm the first in the generation to have a quince. Seeing them all together, it was very special to me. My mom is my best friend, and my sisters are my best friends, and to know that I lean feels the same love. It, it meant a lot to me. It just shows the other girls like, no, this is what a quinta is. Like, I want my sister to have their quinta too, because it's very special. What I'm looking forward to the rest of the night is just seeing all the guests together, having Eileen do her special dance, and just, you know, everybody being happy. I'm about to walk in for the first time. I'm just excited to get this party started. So let's paint the sky. I'm about to walk in for the first time. I'm just excited to get this party started. Vamos a pedir que se pongan de pie por favor para recibir a Eileen. Right now I'm making my grand entrance and the feeling I have is excitement because all eyes are on me. It doesn't make me nervous or anything for some reason. I just feel really excited because I know after I walk in and make my entrance, the party has started. My theme is Fairy Gatsby. I chose it because it's very vintage and like diamonds and pearls. It's just very eye-catching. When I walked into my venue, the centerpieces, like it looked like a waterfall. They have a bunch of diamonds and pearls and stuff. It just looked like really nice and like eye-catching, so I, I like that. Walking into my party, I want people to know that it's Gatsby theme because I'm really looking forward to my family see my party put together. I didn't have a core. I decided just to invite my really close friends that have always been there for me. They all have my back, and like I love them. I love them so much. Seeing them all together and like how we get along, it was very special to me. I just want to say thank you to everybody who took their time out of their day to come here and join me on my special day. I really appreciate all my family for putting their part in my quinceanera to make it happen. I just like seeing everybody together and I, I don't know, it makes me happy like knowing that all you guys are here with me today. You know, I can count on you guys every day. But, gracias a ma y imagina por, por you. <laughs> Te quiero mucho y gracias por ser the best. You guys don't imagine how much I love you guys. Y tú sabes que um, a tus hermanos, a todos los que igual que a ti, te lo amo. Pero tú tienes un significado muy fuerte en mi corazón. Yo sé que no soy perfecto, pero los quiero mucho a todos. Todos ustedes, muchas gracias. Thank you. I'm so happy and I'm so proud of you. And you know that everything I do, I do it for you, baby. You showed us how to be parents, and this is why we're here. I appreciate you, and I hope that you're proud of me the way I'm proud of you, baby. And I love you, my best friend. And you know that I'm always going to be here for you. I love you, mommy. I love you, too. <laughs> When I noticed, when I found out he was going to have a little girl, man, I was happy. And I just love the fact, baby, you've grown up so fast. I love the person that you are. Don't ever change. 
The speeches were pretty emotional because we all had bumps in the roads, but we came to a, like an amazing place and now everybody's having fun, enjoying the rest of the night. When all of my family came up there, it was very special to me because we were all experiencing the same feeling. It got me pretty emotional because they have my back at all times. As long as you guys always stay united like this, nothing's impossible. As long as I'm alive, you guys will never need anything. You guys will have it all. I love you, baby. I love you too. It's just amazing to see how at some point it was just us teenagers, and then all of a sudden, you know, you see my mom and my mother-in-law with all the grandkids, and it's just a beautiful moment. It, it meant a lot to me to see even the kids tearing up. I love that because my mom is my best friend and my sisters are my best friends, and that bond that we have, nobody will ever break it. And to know that Eileen feels the same love, it's amazing. Okay, we're gonna do the toast right now. So if you guys have a drink in your hand. Raise your glasses. Cheers. Congratulations, Eileen. I love you so much. You know I'd do anything for you. You're my sister. I love you. I protect you at all times. I love you. I love you too. Thank you guys for coming because Eileen is one of my perfect Alright, so thank you guys. We're gonna go ahead and get this started. We good? Ready. I'm doing the walls with my dad and my uncle because I thought it would be more sincere if I had my dad and my uncle with me. Just looking into my dad's eyes, it's really special. Like, I look up to him so much. I know that I can just count on him at all times. When I told them that I wanted them to be part of my dance, they were like, are you sure? We're a little rusty. And I'm like, no, yeah, I do want you guys to come in the dance with me. I'm trying to drag my feet. They stumble a little bit, but they got it. I know they got it. As I was dancing and like turning around, I seen them, but I was like, you know what, I'm gonna block them out because I'm gonna do it the way I wanna do it. And like, I actually did it pretty well. dad and my uncle dancing got the crowd like hyped because they're not used to seeing your dad or uncle dancing, especially moving that much. They see like, like wow, those men are, they're old. <laughs> they're old, like they, they're not supposed to be dancing, you know? And I feel like it was actually the meaning of a surprise dance. My quince today was a success. I really enjoyed it. Dancing with my dad and my uncle gave me time to focus on them. And, and just looking at everybody towards the end of my dance, dancing with me is like, we're all there together. And I feel like I've bonded with everybody here tonight. Mamacita? Yes, ma Did you enjoy your party today? Yes, I did. Yeah? It was worth it, right? Yes. Thank you for, because I know that you put this whole party together. Like, literally you like started planning it on your own. Thank you. I want to say thank you to my mom because she did put a lot of effort into today. She woke up six in the morning, started doing everybody's makeup, worried about everybody else, and then she started worrying about me. And just like knowing that she got everything done makes me look at her like as a strong person. And I appreciate it a lot because like that's my mom and that's what moms are for. Oh, mamacita, thank you guys. It means a lot. It means a lot. Birthday next year by yourself with your friends. <laughs> I'm not planning anything anymore. <laughs> That's it. Sounds good. Right? I encourage every girl to have a quince because it's really special. Seeing your whole family, your friends, and everything just coming together, you realize like how much you have in life. For more quince content, make sure to check out Austin's TV's new quinceanera channel. Bye!